This session is recorded, so I will start with the mission statement. Welcome everyone to HPH India. Uh, we are very, very, very grateful and very thankful to have Daisy today as our as our uh, as our guest for donating her time and energy for this gallery reading. Um, our mission at HPH. HPH is a nonprofit organization dedicated to assisting bereaved parents through support and resources offered. We aspire to help individuals become shining light parents, meaning a shift from the state of emotional heaviness to one of hopefulness and greater peace of mind. HPH goes a step beyond other groups by allowing an open discussion of spiritual experiences and afterlife evidence in a non-dogmatic way. HPH affiliate groups welcome everyone regardless of religious or non-religious background and encourage open dialogue. Attendance at this meeting is voluntary. We hope that participants will learn from and share with each other. Discussions here are confidential and are not designed to replace traditional therapy or spiritual counseling. Helping Parents Heal offers a wide variety of speakers, allowing parents to learn about many possible ways to heal. This includes presenters covering progressive topics such as afterlife evidence and connecting with children who have passed. The views expressed by our guest speakers may or may not reflect the opinion of helping parents heal leaders and members. So we ask that you take from their presentations whatever may benefit you personally. I would like to take this opportunity and introduce Daisy. Daisy has a very long bio and I will try and do justice to it. She says from her earlier memory, which was around four years old, she could see and feel things that her siblings and parents didn't understand. They would put things down to, I needed to get my eyes tested or I had invisible friends. When she was 10 years old, one afternoon while playing in her bedroom, she was told in her head by a thought from spirit that her mom was going to die. She ran into her bedroom where she was crying and hugging and telling her, that she didn't want to die. She said, I'm not going to die for a long time. Daisy was inconsolable and that night she slept in a bed with her parents. The following Saturday, 29th November, 1969, her mom died in her sleep. She was 44 years old. Little did she know then that 11 years later, when she was expecting her second son, that she would feel the loss that would be so intense while expecting him. Her son was born full term, 5th December, who appeared to be perfectly healthy for the first 24 hours of his life, but sadly he had gone with half heart and passed aged four days. Although the spirit world has let her know many, many times over the years that she has special abilities, she had to put a hold on this as she was a wife, a mother, and a full-time working professional, especially in the medical profession. She's been working with spirit for many years and has just allowed the ability to come naturally. She does not just hear voices, information comes via thoughts, visions, images, and remote viewing, which she really enjoys. Her readings are always about love, light, and healing and peace. Her hope is that at the end of the hour long reading, that the person has a sense of peace and feels the love from the spirit family. Her readings are mostly conducted via Facebook, Messenger video, FaceTime, and even Skype. She does not prefer to receive information before a reading and prefers to work fresh with no foreknowledge. We thank Daisy for being a part of our HPH family, for giving us the opportunity to host her in this place and to assist parents who are a part of our group, who are struggling with grief and who want to connect with their children. God bless you. Thank you so much, Daisy. I leave the floor open to you, Daisy. I will act as your eyes and ears tonight. People who feel that there is a connection and a spirit coming through, please feel free to type in the chat box and then Daisy will pick the person up and I will help unmute. If you can unmute at that time, it'll be nice. it'll be very nice. Yeah, the floor is all yours, Daisy. Welcome, welcome. Well, well, thank you for that. I was going to say, I think you need a glass of water now after doing all that, <laughs> don't you? You must have a dry mouth, okay? Because I feel like I feel like I want to just have a glass of water just after listening to all of that. Thank you very much. You know, it's wonderful being here again. I, I, I don't know if it's my second or third time now with helping parents in India. It might be my third time, I think. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So um, what I want to do is um, I find it very difficult to see what people because I do wear glasses, but I've only got my 
from my distance glasses on so I can't really read what they're saying unless I go right up and it really I don't want to be doing that big be, be not not very nice for you like to see my face right against there so what I will say to you is um um I just want to go with let's can I ask you just to see what questions are there and just pick people at random for me if you don't mind uh, you want to pick a person and then and then go ahead with that no, I say you pick a person. If someone's got a question that you can see, yes, okay. um, you just bring them up, yeah, and then so they can I... ask me. They can ask me the question, yes. Okay. So I, I'll leave you to just, um, you know, pick anybody at random. I pick the ones on the chat box, Daisy. So Nandita asks for me. I see some numbers repeatedly. Yeah, I'm just going to answer questions. I can't hear you. Daisy, there's a question from us, from one of the attending, uh, attending participants that would this be a question answer session or a reading? Okay, can you just, yeah, if she can just come up, if you can just, is there some way she, I can see her? So yes, she can ask I, me the, the question Nandita, directly. Nandita. Okay, I'm Nandita. Hello, Daisy. And hello. Hello. Chandra. Hello. So I had asked because someone else on the chat had also mentioned that they see numbers repeatedly. And I said, yes, I see some numbers repeatedly. And I do want, and it's happening a lot lately. So I wanted to know if in your experience, it's it's someone, it's, it's my child trying to get a message across to me. Yeah, someone, can I just say, someone's got their microphone turned on and they're either in their kitchen or, or they're doing something. I can hear it. Someone with the handle, Limarik. Can you please mute your mic, please? Thank you. Uh, can I go back to the other lady? Yes. None That's so. it. So can I say to you, so I always see a lot, the number 1111. I've taken that as a spiritual number for a long time for me. Yeah, my brother sees the number 633. I've got, you know, some people see four, four, five, fives, two, twos. I always say, I truly believe it's just our spirit family letting us know that we're bang on track with what we're doing in our lives. And it's just their way of letting us know that they're with us on this, on this road, shall we say. Okay, so one thing I'll ask you specifically, so I see the number 23 very often, and often it is the 23rd minute of the hour. So I'll often see the 23rd minute of every hour. Or, yeah. you know, so yes. I'll see like 823, 923, 1123. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, but then, I, do you know, I can get in my car, turn on my engine. And I can, without even realizing it, straight as soon as I sit in, the clock says 11, 11. You know, so just take that as you, it's weird how we meant to see it as well. You know, sometimes we can look at our watch, bang on 11, 11 for me without even thinking about it. I mean, we probably check our time every now and again, but it's always that number. So just look on that as, um, you know, your spirit guides and family, just letting you know you're bang on track. We're doing what we should be doing it and we're in the right place. That's just their reassurance. There's just, it's just that's the way it is. Um, are you upstairs at the moment? Yes. Are you in a bedroom? Yes. Okay. So you know the door behind behind you, does that go to like, you've got other bedroom, you're not like a one bedroom house, you've got other bedrooms? Yes, that's right. Okay. So um, do, you, do you have a dog downstairs? Not a dog, no. Well, right, okay. For some reason, I'm getting a child coming in, well, a child coming but I'm getting them coming in with a dog for some reason and I don't want to go with an over big dog here I, I don't want to go with that sort of size dog I want to go more so um what I call shorter legged type of dogs you know not something huge as well so it, I don't know who this is did, did you lose a son no I you lost a daughter okay you didn't lose two children did you one child one child 
Right, so I'm going to go with what I'm, and how do you connect to the month of September? It's my child who I lost her birthday and my birthday. Right, okay, now I'm getting what's happening here. Your child is coming in with other children that are here today. So I feel she's bringing in other parents' children, okay? But for whatever reason, I have to still say about the dog because there seems to be this puppy dog that's following them around, okay? So the dog's coming in the, with this, this young boy. Then he told me to say September, which means he's bringing in your daughter, hence why he's giving me that month. Somehow the month of March also connects. How do you connect to March? March is my father's birthday. Is he here? He's not here. He's in spirit. He's, that's fine. You can see what's happening in there. Just bringing in energies, okay, to make it like... I always say when I do these helping parents heal meetings, anyone is welcome. And often what happens with children, they bring in playmates. They probably... Your daughter probably knows this young boy that probably passed before her, hence why he opened up the reading with the dog. So I would say he passed before her. So he's like... Um, wants to be the one to open up the reading and bring her in and then your father stepped in as well and what's the month of December mean to you December December is my husband's birthday that's her dad's birthday yeah her dad's so birthday. she's she, so your birthday is September and her dad's is December and, and September, her birthday is also September September so you see now she's making all connections as well to this have you kept her bedroom the same? Yes. And is there a is there some sort of doll or or, or something on her that's got like full dress in it or, or full clothing in some way? All her clothes are still in her cupboard. But no, is there a doll or something on her bed or something in there if you went that's got clothing on it, like full dressed? No, there are some uh, there are some stuffed animals since she was a child, but not fully dressed. No, right. Can I say there's got to be something? You have to have a look. Yes, later. There feels she's showing me something that's got a dress on it. So, like, I have my son's teddy bear over there. Yes, but that teddy bear is wearing clothes. For example, so if you look in there, there is either a teddy bear or something, a doll to me, or cuddly toy is wearing something so it will be wearing something can i think you'll understand it there yes. as well yes. okay she wants you to know that all is well with her okay and i believe it is her that's sending you the number 23 okay because she could she just said say 23 to you so it's her that's sending you the 23 just to let you know that she's on track as well and um I'd like to know who the little boy is. Let me just see if I can get something from him. So just in case one of the mums is right here listening to this. Because I don't understand his name and how to say it, I'm going to say that his name begins with A, A for Apple. So if there's a, anybody watching right now who's got a little boy or a son that went to spirit, with his the initial A in it. Don't be surprised if it's like a double A, you know, like so starts with an A, ends with an A, or it's got, it might even have an N in it actually, A. Sorry, I, I, I don't understand what I've got to say, but you, I think someone might understand that, okay? But that's little boy that she's brought in that opened up the reading, okay? In your back garden at the moment, do you just have one flower out there or there's something that's bloomed? So I'm on a higher floor. I don't have a garden, but in the back of the house, there is just one plant which has blooming flowers. She's just gone into the garden and she stood where the blooming flower is, but she told me to say one plant. That's all. So she wants you to know. And she's laughing. She's laughing and playing and running around here. OK, granddad sooner just sit on a chair and watch him. OK, but there you go. They're just outside. So know that she's very much around you. OK, hope that helps you.
Thank you so much. All right, let's just see where the A goes from and, and, and hope I'm just saying it right, okay? And can I say, even is there, is there a, a boy's name that's got like an A-N-K name? Do you know in your, in, in, in an no. Indian name? No, if you're asking me, my daughter's name starts with K and my son's name starts with A. Oh, that's why I'm getting the double A. Because she's saying, say A, A. Yeah? No, I don't know. I, 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 still, I still feel the boy's got this sounding, almost like I want to say Anik or that. Like... No, my son's name is, uh, my her brother's name is Atin. Yeah, no, who's playing with her? Who, who she brought in with her? I, what I'm going to say, let's just see if another parent comes in. I always find it difficult with names that are not English because I can't say it properly. And so I try and ask them to help me spell it. So let's just see where that goes. And let's see if anybody's popped up because I, I know things are coming up there, but I can't read it because it's too far away for me. Okay, so let's see what happens. Thank All right. you Lots of love to you, darling. Lots of love. Can I pick another parent from the chat box, Daisy? Yes. So there's first on top, Renuka from with XYZ handle. Renuka, can you unmute? Yes. Can you hear me? Hello. Hello. Hi, Hello. Hi. How can I help you? No, I was just wondering that my granddaughter's name begins with AA. -A. Right. Okay. It's a little boy as well. But I'm still going to say because I got the AA, the chances are that your daughter connects because with all the children, you know, with doing this um, meeting today, and the children will all come in, they're all mixed as well. So your daughter, and that a daughter that's passed, yes? It was my son. No, your daughter's, has she passed with the AA? No, 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 she's still around. Right, I want to try and get to this. And your son hasn't got a K in his name, has he? No, but my name has a K inside. <sighs> How does, the, how does the month of either August or the number eight mean to you? August or the eight, meaning the eighth month or eight years? I don't know. August, we were all supposed to take a family holiday, which was being no, planned. Right to me, no, it's not sitting right for me. So I'm going to say it's nobody's birthday, nobody passed that month, and it's not a wedding anniversary. Mm, no. I'm going to get to, I always, I always get my man. There's going to be, someone's going to connect with this and the month of January connects as well here. So can, it has to be an August and January connection. Can anyone respond to Daisy's uh, August and January connection? Anyone in the group? Uh, Daisy? Uh, hi, see my ear. Uh, Hello. Uh, hi. Uh, as you're referring to a boy, but then A and K, both the alphabets are in my daughter's name. And the number eight connects to her age when she passed. And the month January uh, is my son's birth uh, month. That's fine. I'm going to go with that. That sits perfect for me because you've just connected to everything that I've said. I will, anybody that's had a reading with me will know I will never make it fit. I would always make sure I get to the right person with the right message. And does the month of October also connect with you? Uh, no. October or the number 10, which is the 10th of a month, 10 years, number 10. No. I'm going to say yes. Okay, I think you'll work it out because um, it's definitely for you. But they're telling me to say October or number 10. Okay. And your... So your daughter passed? Yes. And uh, she wouldn't be 10 now? Yes, yes. She would have been 10 now. What did I say? I always say, I knew it was for you. If it's not October, it's number 10. So what she's doing, she's letting me know she passed when she was eight. Yes, and she would be 10 now. 
And there you go. That's why I said, no, no, I knew it's for you because she steps forward as well. Was there anything going on with your daughter's head in some way? Did she have any problem with headaches? Did she have problems with dizziness? Was there anything going on with her head? Yeah, she had severe headache uh, when she, uh, in her last days. She had seizures, did you say? Yes. She had, yeah, so that's, she had seizures. No, that's fine, because she's just giving me, with whatever happened to her, she's pointing to her head to me. So that tells me, sadly, seizures were going on before she passed, okay? Had she been ill for like four weeks, four months, four days before she passed? Uh, she was ill for around 18 months and she okay. was hospitalized like four, before, four to five days before her passing. So I'm still going to say there's a four connection here. So to me, there's a four, four days, four weeks was, was important. This, it just feels important, this number four. Okay. Number, number four could be for four of us, uh, me, her father, uh, she and uh, my son. We are only okay. Oh, there's so, the other, so you're a family of four. That's yeah. what she's telling me. That's all she's telling me. It's just a family of four as well. As someone just about to have a celebration, so a birthday, anniversary, something just happened, just about to. Yeah, it just happened. Yeah, because she's giving me cake or sweets and sweet stuff to eat. Whose birthday was it? Uh, it was my birthday in May. And then after that, our, uh, before that, our uh, marriage anniversary. Uh, lovely. There you go. So she was with you when that was happening as well. Um, you don't wear like a bracelet in her memory, do you? Because she wants me to talk about the bracelet. Yeah. Is it beaded or something? What is it? it it's a diamond uh, uh, bracelet which she liked because it's just that she's referencing my stones okay like I've got my oh there we go that's beaded there you go because I was getting that beaded type of feel yes she loves that you wear that as well I'm going to straight away move on to someone else because I want to try and get as many messages in for people because I know you know, time's the essence, okay? So I hope you've enjoyed those few, just that little bit, but there we go. I think one person, one person on the chat wrote about a dog. I think it was Renuka talking about a dog. Mm -hmm. And there is someone with Brett Adamski as a handle who said son was born in January, birthday in October. Right, okay. The person with the dog, because I'm still going to go with that dog that came in with the kids. So let's go to that. Yeah, that was me. Right oh, now. Was dog. Yeah, yeah. So oh, okay. So I'm I'm going to still say that this also must connect with you. But do you, do you see now why I said to you it didn't feel right with everything I was showing you? You weren't getting it. So I knew it wasn't for you. Straight away, the next lady, it boom, it went like that. Okay, right, let's say. Now, do you connect with the month of April? Yes. And is that a birthday or a passing or anniversary? Birthday. Birthday, okay. So I'm just, boy, always, they were always coming with months, months and years normally with me. That's how they always work with me as well. So I'm getting the month of April here as well. Where you live, are you are you downstairs? So do you, do you ever have like a one story um, house? It's a two story house. Right. Why do I see a bed downstairs? Why am I seeing something like a bed that would be downstairs? Um, I mean, um, the kitchen and the everything is downstairs. Only the bedrooms are upstairs, and the dog is also downstairs. Actually, our bedroom is down the, the, the down the, the lower part of our bedroom is uh, just the car park. Sorry, the, the, the bedroom. Car park. The bedroom is built on top of the car park. The bedroom is built on top of a car park. Yes, the car park is an open area. Oh, I see. I don't know. Okay, I don't know why I'm being shown a bedroom here at the moment. 
Is there anyone else who can re relate to the bedroom? Right, okay. There I've some, seen a bed. There is someone else uh, with the black go, Sorry. Yeah, let's go back to that lady, actually. Okay, because I want to describe something. Then I might know where the, en her en the energy is. Yeah? Yeah, I'm here. So, right, with your, with your bed, is it wooden based? Yes. Not metal framed. Some beds are made of metal and it's wooden framed. And yes. do you have do you have a sheet that hangs over it? If you see what I mean? So it would go over the side of it of the bed. So there's something that goes hangs down. Yeah, I have the side tables on either side of the bed. So it, to do with the bed itself, do you yes. have just a sheet on there with, with which would hang down? So not a continental quin or blanket, but I just feel there's something on the bed, which is like a cover that hangs down. So you, you know, like that would cover the mattress. You wouldn't see the mattress. Yeah, the wooden frame yeah. covers, the, covers the mattress fully. That, right, so that's where I'm, that, this is where I want to go. I want to be precise in what your daughter's showing me. Okay, so this is where, this is where I want to go with this. And, I want to be looking out of a window. Okay, so you must have a window in that room, but from but but you have a view to it. There's some sort of view. So is that way? There's either a busy street or or there's you know like you can see life going on. It's a street, it's a street. Right, because that's where I want to be, because she's showing me, I'm seeing a window, and yes. I want to count that it's a busy street. So, you know, like there's either cars going up and down and, and, and stuff like that. Yes, okay, so I am in the right place. It's I a am with you. area, not yeah. many cars, but we do have cars going up and down. Yeah, that's fine. No, she's just showing me everything like that as well. Okay. So her part, her passing was expected. No, no. Actually, it was my son, not my daughter. It was my son. Sorry, your son. Sorry. So his passing. Why he's giving me expected with this? Once he got sick, I think. It was quite expected. Oh, so he was ill. Right. Okay. Oh, I'll tell you why is because if I get a sudden passing, it to me, it goes like this. It's like a road traffic accident or a sudden heart attack. To me, that's a sudden passing or suicide. Yeah. But but your son's not giving me that. He's giving me a feeling of it expected in some way. So that to me would normally be an illness of something going on here as well. Right. So I am. Yeah. He's giving me the number 11. How do you connect to that 11? I keep 11 seeing, years, I 11 keep seeing, months. I keep seeing 11 and fives. Okay, number. so you're seeing, so yes. where the first question came up a while ago about numbers and the other lady connects to number 23, five okay. for you are now seeing the number 11. So 11. that is his connection to you. So I understand very, that. Very often. I see it very Yes. Often. So every time you see it, you know that it's him letting you know that all is well, okay? Thank you. So the dog was his or it was a family dog? We just got the puppy recently, but we had a puppy which also passed a few days after my son left. So your son isn't the one with the AA, is his sister? No, his niece. Oh, his niece has got the AA. Okay, so you know, I'm going to say that it was probably your son that came in and opened up the region and brought the other ladies, little girl in, the little girl then brought her grandfather in. Okay, this is just how, because there's so many people here, that's just how they're going. It's just one inviting in another. Okay, so all is well. Thank you. Right, I'm going to go to I'm going to go to another question because I really want to try and get as many people um, answer some you know answer as many questions can as we, I can or help people. 
can can we ask the person with the handle Greg Adensky because there are a few things that they have the person has connected to. Right. The person with the handle Greg Adensky. Yes. Hello. Hi, Greg. Hi. Hi. So can you just talk about the connections that you just put on the chat? I can't oh, see my. anybody. I can't see him. Greg, can you say hi? Hi. Can you see him, Daisy? No. Has he got, he's got to maybe put his video, accept the video? No, I'm on. He's on, he's on. He may oh, there he is. Him. I can see him. I can see him now. Hi. What was your question? Well, I just, you just mentioned January. My son's birthday is in January and the number four or April, my, his mom's birthday is in April. Yeah. You know, um, I will always say, to, you know, um, each person that I connect with, when they give me the months, it's directly for them because that's how the, that person will come in as well. Can I ask you, how do you connect to next month, July? My <clears throat> mother's birthday is in July. That's fine. And your mum's still here? Yes. And all my, I have a brother and also a sister with July birthdays. Okay. So you see with me, I won't change what I get with people. So those months that I gave connected to each one of those. So now your energy of your loved one is coming in and they're going to make sure that I get months that only connect with you. Okay. So what's happened is the first thing your son said was say July. And there's so to me, that's next month. Yeah. Yes. So that's a birthday. Your, your son, is he your first? Yes. Because he's referencing he's your number one or the number one of the family. So to me, I take that as the firstborn. Yes? Yes. And the month now, what's just happened this month? Why well, I've got to say June. That so I I'm, don't know. So I'm going to say now, today is the 18th, for example, either the number 18 means something or the 18th of a month or um, the month of June or number six. Now, he's not one of four children to you, is he? He has one. Oh, no. Just I mean, the only. He, he, well, no, I have three kids. He was one of three kids and he has one child. He had okay. one child. So what he's giving me with the number six, does that sound right? No, there's nothing with six that I can think of. So mum, dad, three kids and a child and a grandchild, six. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, so yes. that's why I'm saying always with me, if it's not the month, it's the number <clears throat> they're trying to get through to me. Because he just said, say June, six, right now, whatever. Yeah. So that's what he's letting me know as well. Oops. Right now he's saying I've got to say Thursday to you, Thursday. So they can give me the day they were born, the day they passed, the day of their funeral. How does Thursday connect? That I don't see a connection. Right, Friday. okay. So let's just say your son passed on a Friday. Thursday would have been his last full day in this earth. If he passed on a Wednesday, Thursday would be the first day of the rest of your life without him physically in it. I think you're frozen. One of us is frozen. Yeah, no, he is. Uh, One of us is frozen. No, he is. Uh, Greg? Uh, yeah, he's back. Is he back? Yes. Greg, can you hear us? Yes, I can hear you. Yeah. Uh, so, okay, so I'm going to say it's still say Thursday. You will work out what Thursday is if you don't work out the Wednesday or the Friday, okay? Because Thursday can be something significant that happened before he passed or something significant after he passed about that day as well. Okay. Um, which is it you or your wife that has a hard time um, connecting with him? I have not spoken to my ex-wife really about any connections. Right, okay, because one of you is having a hard time 
with trying to see signs or understanding the signs that he sends. So it would probably be me. I yeah, mean, at least I feel that because way. Because whenever they give me the knock, knock on the head and they go, knock, knock, hey, dad, you're missing the signs because, you know, don't question what you get. I always say whatever you get, the first thought you get is from your loved one. It would be them that come spring to mind. That's who sent the message or sent whatever, be it feathers, coins, music, you know, just thoughts that come in your head or memories that come in your head suddenly from way back that you haven't thought about for a long time. So it's you then. You're not, you need to be more um, willing, okay, and open your heart to allow, to be able to understand the messages that you're getting from him, yeah? So it is you, yeah, and you're now he's got for whatever reason I've got to say Tuesday to you. He just said to say Tuesday as well. So I'm gonna leave you with Tuesday and Thursday. There's something significant about these two days. Okay. Oh, you know, well, I I belong to a grief group that meets on Tuesdays, and then I've been going to a a, a any to a group at a church that I had joined because of his death that has caused me to, be, to question things that right. is more it's not necessarily it's a unity church so right so on and tuesdays and thursdays i i go tuesdays to and thursdays. Groups. i go to groups on those days yeah see why your son said to me say thursday yeah you get it tuesday you now get it that's why he goes with you when you do that that's why he brought those two days up and that belongs to you. You see how each thing, when I speak to someone, it belongs personally to you, this particular thing as well. Because he, he just said to tell you right by your, right by your side. Okay, thank you. He also said he understands completely why you feel lost. You feel lost, yeah? Yes. And he also said, please don't rake, rake up anything to do with the past. It's not important to him. The future and going forward is important. Do you understand him saying that to you? Yes. Yeah. He said, don't hold on to any regrets, Dad. Don't hold on to it. Let it go. Yeah. And he okay. said, and you're just, just let me step into your heart. You'll see the signs as well. Are you going away soon? Are you going, going on away? a trip? Are you, are you going away? Are you on a trip? Are you doing something? No, I have a break from work next next Thursday. Okay. Okay. A few are weeks you, off. Are you Are you going anywhere? Are you going to do anything with that break? No plans. So what I would say to you, it could be he's pushing you to go and do something, and that would be another thing about the Thursday. Maybe he's saying, Dad, you need to get out. You know, get out, go and do something. You know, it's a day off. Go and do it, yeah, and get he in has touch. Told me, he, has, he has told me that in the past. Yeah, yeah, there you go. You need to get out. See, you can't expect yeah. to get lots of messages from your loved ones when you don't step out of your box. So if you're staying around your house and you're staying in that safety of your own house, not wanting to go out into the big wild world, you can't, you won't be able to get the signs that they want you to see. I did a reading in the week for somebody, exactly that same problem. And her son just said, mum, will you get out? Will you get out so I can send you the signs and put things right in front of you, you know? And um, she said she was going to do that because she said she just stays in her bedroom or her kitchen and that's it all the time. Yeah. I stay home all the time. So next Thursday, you're not though, are you? Next Thursday, you're going to go somewhere, okay? Thank Even you. if it's for a lovely walk around a lake area or something or somewhere where he, he used to like to go or you've got a favourite place that you like to go and see what comes along, yeah? You'll be surprised, yeah? Okay. Lots of love to you, darling. Keep safe and well. All right. Thank you. Daisy, there is Barb and there is Shauna who also responded to some of the signs that you had that, that, okay. that you shared. So would you like okay. to go, Barb? Yes, go on, go for it. Barb, can you unmute your phone? 
Is this me? Yeah. It's you. Hello. Hello. So Barb had also responded to the dog, right, Barb? Uh, well, I said I had, I've been seeing a certain animal. But yes, I, we had a dog. We have a dog and we had a dog who passed. Okay. So what I'm going to say to you is, like I said to you the other, was it Greg? He was called just now, I forgot his name. Um, I would say to you that each person has got already that answer. Do you see what I mean for them? I yes. have to say March to you, March. So how do you get to March or the third of a month or three? March was the dog's birthday and also right. my father's birthday. There you go. Now you see, this is for you now. And even though you thought because the dog came in, this is a different dog for you. Okay. Not like the dog I saw for the other lady. This okay. one's a bigger dog. So, um, so this is just your dad coming in as well. Um, has he lost two grandchildren in the family? So with, um, because I'm getting a boy and a girl. And no, he, he didn't, but I did have a miscarriage um, so, for my first pregnancy. Okay. Hello, what did I just say? There you go. Your dad's bringing in your two children. Okay. Now, was the boy the loss? I, I believe so. I don't know what, it was early on and we didn't know the sex of the baby. So, the, sorry, let's put this right. You lost a daughter that was grown? Yes. Okay, that's why your dad said to me he's bringing in the boy also, but he was the loss. Do you understand mm -hmm. the loss of the pregnancy as well? Yes. So, so um, dad, that's the way it goes. And how does December connect to you? December. It's my, birth my birthday is in December. There we go. Um, so that's your dad giving me his birth month, March. Okay, your month, December, and bringing in your two children. One was a loss, but they still grow in spirit. I always say they, they, they're little butterflies to me. That's the way I look at them. Okay, so your daughter, but your daughter was grown when she passed. Now yes. she's giving me the month of September or the number nine. How do you connect to that? Um, my mother's birthday is in September. My mom passed right before my daughter. Okay, so what's happening is your dad opened the reading, brought in your two kids. Okay, now mum is stepping in, grandma is stepping in, and she gave me the month of September as she stepped in and stood next to your daughter. So now you've got the family here. You've got, yeah. Um, did Which one of them passed to chest, chest, lungs? Because uh, I have to go with this area when they give me that. Um. When, when she passed, she was having trouble breathing, but that wasn't the main cause. Of oh, so that was your daughter when she passed, she had trouble breathing? <clears throat> oh, you know what? No, like my mother, um, my mother had lung cancer. There, so, so that would be the September, because I just mm -hmm. feel everything is to do with here. So it was your mum. That's why I said chest, lungs as well. Mm -hmm. So that's your mum as well. So they passed within the same year or within 12 months? Yes. Because I just feel back to back almost like very yes. close. Yeah. So is your daughter, do you have either another two children or she's one of two living to you? I have a son who is living. That's fine, because she just said to me, say two. Uh, we already know that you sadly lost a little little boy, the miscarriage. Okay, I'm now talking about what I would say is a full pregnancy and grow. Yes. So she's letting me know that she is one of two, would have been two living, if you see what I mean, until the moment she yes. passed her. Because she's referencing her brother. Where you are at the moment, are you downstairs? No. Right, but where you you are right now is the kitchen below you? Yes. Right, okay, because she's telling me that she's in the kitchen, right? She's just in the kitchen. That's one of her favorite places, like they love being around food and stuff, okay? But what she put me is in that you're in the same vicinity of her. So to me, if you are not, 
in the same room, then you're, where you are is directly, your kitchen is below you because I feel that's where the energies are here as mm -hmm. well. And um, you weren't making fruit juice or something earlier, were you? No. Who likes fruit juice? Who, who likes like smoothies or, or likes to do fruit juice sort of stuff? Smoothies? Um, she likes smoothies. Okay, so that's why she's in the kitchen, nosing around to see what you've got, because she's giving me fruit juice, smoothies, and stuff like that. Okay. Do you have in that room, like, like silk flowers or paper flowers or, or something? Um... I don't know She's if we have device that's flowery related. I don't feel it's real. So to me, where she stood, it's got to be artificial in some way. Not in that room, but in another room. You've got artificial flowers, like in a pot or something. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. Now all she's done is move from one place to another. That's all she's done. Okay. Because what happens with me when I do remote viewing, I just go with the, the thing they show me. And first of okay. all, she's showing me like a smoothie machine and, and fruits and stuff and making that. And then she went from there and she just showed me silk flowers or artificial flowers that, and now she's in another room. In that okay. room, is, is there a mirror in that room? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because she just showed me her reflection. Okay, so that's where how I know to say mirror. She just loves to let, she just wants you to know no matter what you think, she's very much around you very much around you and the house as well do you slide a door to go out of it so downstairs there a sliding door yes now is that away from the flowery and the mirror room is that a different room now she's in no same room it's the same with room. a sliding door okay yeah. which takes you to the back of your house yes that's fine. You know where she is now. She's gone from mm -hmm. your kitchen to that room and she just slid the door open and stepped outside because that's where she prefers to be as well. Do you have a bird feeder out there? We have a bird house. Oh, you have a bird feeder, bird house. I'm happy with that because mm -hmm. she stood by that. So you want she okay. to know that she stood. And I see like unusual birds coming there that like beaky type of bird or whatever that is but I feel like a real beaky type of bird that goes out okay. there as well that she sends do you understand that yeah always with you right by your side she said as well you don't wear her sweaters or something do you or put something of hers over your shoulders no okay I just feel there's something I want to be with cozy I want to wrap okay. something around me I'll leave you to think about that, but there's got to okay. be something you either wrap around you to do with her uh, or someone else has got something of hers that they wear in that case. Got to be in the top half as well here. She she had a lot of blankets that she liked and we right. still use all those blankets. So that'd be wrapping around someone or, or mm -hmm. that feeling of softness as well. So mm -hmm. I'm going to go with that. There you go. Okay. <laughs> and that was for you. Oh, she just told me to say February. What's February mean to you? Um, we went on vacation in February before she passed. That, that will be the last vacation? Yes. Yeah, so that's why she ended with saying that February as well. You know, um, your mum and dad just said, we've got the kids, what more do you want to hear? Okay, they're with us, you know, and there's lots of... Love, your daughter just dancing around the garden, would you believe at the moment? That's how I see her, just <laughs> dancing and prancing around the garden, okay? Yeah. Yeah, barefoot, happy as, 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 as anything. That's the way she is. Um, your mum just blew your kiss, by the way, all right? Blew your kiss. Right, I'm going to try and get a couple of more people in if I can. Uh, Dr. Shauna Thank you. Came, Dr. Shauna came very close to a lot of signs that were also common to Barb. So, Dr. Shauna, can you unmute? 
Hello, how are you? I'm good, thanks. What was your question? Um, well, I had a lot that, that fit, <laughs> um, uh, both from, right from right at the beginning though, so a bit of everything. Um, Can I ask you, how does August connect with you? My son, who, or, well, he passed in August. Oh, right, okay. oh, sorry, his, so, sorry, his birth, his birthday is August. His birthday is Okay, August. so let's just, don't tell me any more of what you connect with, let him speak, okay? Because okay. I just, as you were doing, I thought, oh, here he comes. I could feel someone coming in and the first thing he said to me was say August as well. Your son was before his time. Do you understand mm -hmm. that? Yes, I very much do. This world's mental. He went, this world is not for me. Okay, I am just, this is, I've just had enough of this world. I really have. And that's what he just said. Not for me, mum. And he's very comfortable in spirit, very happy with where he is because he said he's got the freedom that he always wanted. Do you understand? I've yes. just got freedom here as well. I don't think people understood him at times because there feels something like hidden about him where you know some people can have a very open life they share everything personal on their Facebook page not him I feel there's a hidden -y, this is me and I don't why do I want to brag about stuff why when I this is I have I have my own thoughts I deal with all this myself okay and my no one knows me better than my mum as well okay because he said you could read him like a book and that's what he just said but you were the only person that could as well he's gonna make me cry he said i've got to say to you because normally i don't say this in readings unless they do because i always feel it goes without saying but he just really shouted to me to tell you i love you mum you know, in a, in a big way. And like I say, they don't, very rarely do they do that, but I knew he, he really wanted to get this across how much he loves you. Um, did he sometimes dress a bit gothic or something? Mm. You know, did he have his own style? So to me, like goths, punks and all that lot, you know, to me, they have their own style. They have their own style of what they wear. They don't want to go with the latest fashion and, and oh, I'm going to be uncomfortable in what I wear. And it almost feels like that with him. So do you have his own style? Maybe his own style, not not real, not goth or anything like that. No, but no, just, but his, he didn't really yeah. care about, uh, you know, necessarily the latest trends. No, because no, that's what I'm saying. It's all yeah. materialistic. That's the world yeah. we live in, materialistic, and I'm not into yeah. it. And that's Correct. why he said, I have got my own style. I'll wear yes. this. If it's got a hole in it, if it can't be seen the hole, I'm wearing it. Okay. Yes. And that's the way it is. Someone has a jacket of his. Who wears a jacket of his? Um, my husband now does. Yes, because he wears the jacket. And dad's not washed it either. It feels like it's still, it's still me. It still either smells of me or there's nothing, you know, or dry cleaning, whatever. Yes, as well. Okay. Yeah. Just where do you sit outside on a chair that moves? So do you have a rocking chair, a bench or something? Uh, not really that that moves. So, right. Um, so where's the comfy chair outside? What? Oh, right. He just plonked himself on something that's outside. So that there is a. Uh, I'm just trying to think of it. Does it move? Does it move? Uh, there is a chair outside. I sit more inside looking outside on a chair uh but i yeah there is a chair out in the in the back i guess right okay again so many spirits always tell me loved ones how much they want to be outside with you when the weather's decent obviously but it's almost like outside outside want to see the signs again get outside and then you're going to get the signs and the hello moments okay so he's just referencing are you going out today are you going somewhere today uh i'm i hope later but i'm i'm going to be doing a, a virtual retreat for clients today but it's inside <laughs> no no but are you going out of your house today eventually yes 
No, no, it's just because he said you're going somewhere later because, again, they love to invite themselves where, wherever you're going. Are you going with dad? Probably we will. I hadn't thought that far ahead, but we'll probably go out because I haven't yeah. been out for a bit. So and probably, will, yes. Will this be, is this likely to be around four o'clock? By four probably, o'clock? Probably, because that's when my retreat's done. So I'll probably want to eat. Yes. <laughs> there you go. Because he just invited himself four o'clock okay. this afternoon. And I know that you're going to be going somewhere. Okay, because he's coming with you as well. Okay. You don't wear something in his memory, do you? He's referencing my heart here. Um, I, I, I often wear my mama bear hat, <laughs> which okay. I got. Uh, Can I keep I also, to heart, hearts? I, I have a rose quartz heart that just is in my office, but I don't wear it but it just sits on the oh, it's, it's there it sits there that's fine so i'm still got to go with the heart because this is brand new i just bought this recently and and he just mentioned this so again it, it, it's like a crystal but i'm still going to yeah. say that he's with you there you go hope that helps you thank you you so see much. each one gets their reading each one gets their month or year and you'll know it's for you all right lots of luck to you have a lovely day in whatever you're doing I will. And, and I and thank you for the messages that you were giving before, because I think they do piggyback on each other. So I was taking those two. So yes, others can take please. mine as well. <laughs> yeah, there are a lot of commonalities between Bob's messages and Shauna's. Uh, so quickly, I think we have time for one. So the, yes. the closest is Kathy and Priyanka. Both of them were responding to messages that that were coming on to other children as well. So okay. Yeah. So Priyanka, would you want to share what was common and take it from there? And then you can look at if Kathy is also coming in. Yeah, I wear my daughter's earring in my necklace. Oh. It's her earring. Hello. I, yeah, hello. Hi, Daisy. I wear my daughter's earrings in my necklace. And she passed with a brain hemorrhage. It was sudden right. passing. When she passed, she was, she was nine years old. Right, I've got to give you the number six. Why have I got to give you the number six? So no. six years, six of a month. No, she June. was she was born in October. She passed in September. No, you've just given me two months. No, six. So I've got to go. Did she become ill at six, for example? No. No, she so was in the hospital for six days. Oh, there we go. There's a number six. Okay. Can I just say to people that um, just so future and anybody ever does anything with me again like this, or they have a private reading with me, the least said, the better for me. So, you know, when I ask someone something, I know people feel tempted to share this and that. I actually personally don't like that because I feel you just stop spirit from saying stuff that they that I want them to say. OK, so I always say even if you don't have a reading with me, and you have a reading with other mediums. Try and not say anything that do you see what I mean, unless they ask for certain things or that, you, that they need that. Yeah, because let your spirit family do all the work. All right. Now, your daughter as well. So do you have a son? Yes. Because she references a brother as well yes. for her as well. You know, does he tell you that he's seen her or he has a connection to her? Yes, we both have seen her also after passing and we both have connections with her. Yeah, that's great because she just said for her, using a silly little childish way, she went, it's easy peasy, easy peasy for her brother to see her or have her come into his dreams and stuff like that and yourself. And that's how it should be easy. Have you kept some of her dresses hung up still? All her dresses. Because she wants me to open a wardrobe and her dresses are all hang up still as well. She also wants to talk about a very nice pair of shoes that are light colored to me. They've got like little diamantes or something on it as well. And she's referencing her little shoes as well. She, she bought you kept herself. Stuff, you kept stuff that goes in her hair. Did you All keep her hairbands. I wear them also. Oh, then that I wear her hairbands. Yeah, because she's doing this with the hair as well. So she knows that you do that as well. Um, 
Now, have you kept, did she actually make a bracelet out of material or, or plastic? I have that. Because she wants actually. to talk about her bracelet that she made. Yes. yes. And you, she gave and it you to me on Mother's Day. Lovely as well. Now, you need to look out for butterflies with your daughter because she's doing a butterfly thing in my forehead here. So you need to connect with butterflies if you haven't already. I see butterflies when I go on morning walks. There, she follows you. There you go, or they, she, they send the energy as well. Is someone in the family just had a baby or someone pregnant at the moment? No. And no one had a baby after her, did they? No. There's some reference to a baby. All right. And I want to go with a boy here to this as well. So all I'm going to, I'm going to leave that because spirit do have big mouths sometimes and they end up telling things that are going to come up. Just in case you have a friend that announces a pregnancy, don't say to her it's going to be a boy. Just keep it to yourself. Okay, it's just that they can just say things in advance sometimes, all right? But she's safe. She's safe and well. She's with family as well. She wants you to know she has a lot of friends, and a lot of her friends are people from Helping Parents Heal that have lost their children, okay? So hence why that happened with that very first weed, you know, one child brought in another child, and, and that's the way it goes. They all know one another. Um, who, who's got the the first name that begins with S, S for sugar? Who's got that name? S is my grandmother's name, Susanna. Susanna. Okay, she just gave me that name. That's all, she just said talk about the S name, okay? Because once when I was talking to her in my mind, then I asked her that who was with you, baby, when you transitioned, and she gave me the name Susanna. There, and that's the S name. That goes perfect as well. And what have you got coming up in August? August. What's to do with August? Uh, we came in this home where are we are living in August, and she You're transitioned. Leaving. Yeah, the place where I'm living right now, we came here in August and she transitioned in September. Okay, so that's why she's staying up the August would be the last place that she knew here, yeah? Well, there you go, everybody. I hope this has all helped this hour of doing this readings and everybody got their, their messages, you. you know, Thank one you so way much. or another, okay? Thank you so I wanna wish everybody a, a beautiful day in whatever they're doing, you know, lots of love and healing and peace for those that are going through bereavement and you know, troubled times as well at the moment. Thank you so much, Daisy. Thank you so thank you much. Much. On behalf of HPH India, all these wonderful people, thank you so much. I think thank okay, you. after you close the reading, there were a lot of connections made. I could see it in the chat box. So uh, be safe. Uh, let the light follow you wherever you are today. Have a wonderful day. Thank you so much, Daisy. Okay. Lots yeah. of so love to everybody. God bless. Bye-bye. Thank, Bye -bye. thank you. Thank you so thank much. You. Thank you. Thank you, Chandra. Bye. Thank you. Thank you.